Um, nausea, vomiting, debilitating pain in your arms, back, and legs. These are just some of the symptoms of a rare blood dis disorder called porphyria. And their symptoms a young Arkansas woman lives with on a daily basis. She's sharing her story in hopes of raising awareness and hopefully finding a cure. I was probably about 12, 13 okay. when I first when I think I first started showing symptoms. For years, now 29-year-old Megan Parrish lived with an indescribable amount of pain. It's almost like um, somebody lit a fire on my inside and I feel like I'm literally like burning from the inside. Bouts of nausea, vomiting, and all over body aches that kept her in bed most days. I didn't feel like I was getting to lead, you know, a normal teenage life. And so it was tough. At the age of 18, after years of tests and misdiagnoses, Parrish was diagnosed with a rare blood disease called acute intermittent porphyria. People with porphyria have difficulties forming hemoglobin and therefore difficulties with oxygen carrying capacity of their red blood cells. Hey, hey. how are you? Dr. Peter Emanuel, director of the Rockefeller Cancer Institute at UAMS, is Parrish's doctor and follows only a handful of patients with her condition. Porphyria is typical that you have good cycles and bad cycles, and so that during her good phases, I see her only about every six weeks, and during her bad phases, it's much, much, much more frequent than that. Up together. <laughs> Dr. Emanuel says porphyria is typically misdiagnosed and right now there is no cure. The main treatment currently is using uh, a medicine called hematin, which is an IV infusion, and then we combine that with IV fluids. He's going to be pretty big. <laughs> and until there is a cure, Parrish will continue to get weekly infusions and work to raise awareness. You know your body better than anybody else, so you know keep pushing for that and you know ask ask for tests and be assertive. Well, Megan is here with us in studio this morning to share about her daily battle with porphyria. She's joined by her boyfriend Jason Turvin, who helps care for her. Thank you guys for coming on this morning, and thank, thank you so much for being willing to share your story. You're in a you're in a good place right now, yes. but. The thing about this this disorder, this disease, is that it can come on at any point, right? Right. It can happen at any time mm -hmm. and without warning. You know, sometimes I do get warnings, but um, mm -hmm. it can go from nothing to a hundred. Yeah. yeah, and no time at all. So you know, I just have to learn to listen to my body. Yeah, learn to listen to your body. And what's what's pretty amazing is UAMS is doing some groundbreaking research mm -hmm. right here in Little Rock. They're going to be doing some clinical trials hopefully soon. Are you going to take part in those? I am very interested in taking part with those. Um, there's a few different processes that I'll have to go through before mm -hmm. I get in, but um, I'm so excited that they brought the trials to Little Rock. Mm -hmm. um, it means I don't have to travel across right. the country to be involved and it means that I can, you know, do it from the comfort of my own yeah. home. And it means too that there could possibly need new treatments and hopefully Yes, it would be life changing. Even a cure. Very true. Now Jason, you live with Megan. Yes. You see her at the worst of the worst. What is that like for you caring with someone with porphyria? Hands down, the most difficult part of it is mm -hmm. having a seer in the amount of pain she can be in. Uh, men by nature, we want to fix things. Yeah. Okay. So the hardest part for me was to realize I can't fix this. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can do is be by her side when she needs me. And that's the easy part, because she's my best friend. She's my teammate. I'm in love with her. <laughs> and if she'll let me, I'd like to spend the rest of my life by your side. Oh, my God! Yes! Yeah? Yes! Yeah, he's Congratulations, you guys. Just so you know, Jason had this all planned out. Oh my gosh, you little sneak. <laughs> we are thank so you. glad you oh, said yes, by the way. <laughs> well, we thank you guys so much. Congratulations. Get another round of applause in the newsroom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank, thank you again you. for sharing your story. Yes. And you got to thank this guy. He's a yes, trooper. <laughs> you're awesome. Oh. 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 Cue the music for real. <laughs> Thank you guys so oh much. I hope you all enjoyed that out there. Yes. You're watching TV. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>